everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with the lovely Dr. Fadi Yasmin. I have been working with Dr. Fadi for ages now on my teeth. You guys heard me talk about it in a video and you had so many questions. So I said, what better to do than get the man, the master himself, Thank to come you. in and answer some of your questions. This is the man who cured my fear of dentistry. So you'll be able to answer all of the questions that you guys had. I know you have a lot of questions about whether you're a good candidate for clear braces or if you should get whitening. So I'm gonna run through a few questions and get all of the professional answers for you guys. So a lot of people these days, when you think of dentistry and cosmetic dentistry, they're all about give me the Barbie smile, give me the perfect smile. But actually I like to look at it as more of an investment in your health, right? So you wanna look good, but it's more about long-term health with your teeth. Well, you're right. I mean, the perfect starting point is the health of your teeth, and I think that was uh, that was an important point with yourself, and that was a great way to start. Um, we certainly look at the cosmetic aesthetic side, but you need the basic foundations: healthy teeth, healthy gums, and from there you can do whatever you like. But you're right; that is the most important thing. So, if somebody's coming into you and they're saying, "Give me perfect Barbie teeth," but they have a few fillings and they need other things done before they go straight straight into whitening or straightening their teeth, you wouldn't proceed without making sure everything was healthy first. 100%. There's no way you can do that. I mean, it would be, in, in essence, a good malpractice. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, you need to get the basics right. You need to make sure everything is stable. Then we can have that discussion. And five times out of 10, sometimes you don't necessarily even proceed after that. Once they have their teeth whitened, maybe straighten them might make a veneer uh, veneers change their mind so, yeah <laughs> so if you if you incrementally do that then you find as you reveal you know each part of the process developing um you sort of uh, take a step back with the patient say okay well what do you think so far so you really got to build it up you know you don't want to jump in the deep end because a lot of uh, often these patients don't know what they're getting you know people say 10 veneers uh, you know 10 veneers have to be replaced so mm -hmm. yeah and if it's got to be done, it's got to be done perfectly. It's got to be done in a healthy environment because if you do all that, you get a nicer result. Yeah, for sure. And I think it's it's very good to not have a definite plan in mind about what you want because there's a reason they're professionals. There's a reason why we come in for a consultation because whatever That's you right. think you want, it might actually be different. You might need less. You might need more. You might need something more in one area and not in another. Well, that's spot on. I mean, it's taken me 25 years to be able to treatment plan perfectly. Yeah. I mean, we go to university for five to 10 years to learn how to plan. So to expect someone, and no discredit to the patient, some of these patients are very educated, they do their research, they know what they want, but you really do need a professional to assess it because sometimes things are missed. Mm -hmm. uh, you get a scan and there could be something else we need to deal with. Yeah. So um, with all due respect for the patient's plans, you do need a thorough treatment plan by a professional. Mm. And that's where smile design comes in, right? Well, smile design comes in if you've gotten to the part where, you know, the, well, even for the, the healthy um, components, even if you get to the part where someone wants to come in and say, well, what can I do with my teeth? Well, uh, smile design is fantastic, or digital smile design, mm -hmm. or DSD, which we do a lot of, yeah. and I'm an instructor to dentists in this field. But what that does for us is allows us to show the patient visually and through a mock-up what potentially we can do yeah. for them. Now that might involve some gum surgery, it might involve some orthodontics, it might also involve some veneers. But we can show them what potentially could be if all these steps are adhered to, if you know we sort of are able to fulfill one of these um, sort of uh, modalities one at a time or we might be able to sort of get to the point where it's almost impossible to get to this or sometimes we we can do a smile design and say hey to really achieve this you might have to have significant amount of work yeah. you know you've got to weigh it up and it doesn't happen overnight these kind of processes they can Definitely. take a while I've been working on my teeth with Dr. Fadi for like a year now and it's only now people are noticing I mean, now people are seeing it happening. Yeah, that's right. I mean, veneers can be done fairly quickly if that's all you need. Yeah. But often a lot of veneer cases need a little bit of orthodontics prior yeah. to get that perfect result. Sometimes prior to orthodontics, you need to get some fillings and you need to get your gums right. Yeah. You need some whitening. So there's a lot of things that you just don't know you need beforehand to get that perfect smile. It doesn't happen instantly. Yeah, you need that consultation, trust me. And you go in and you're like, oh, actually, I 
didn't think I need that, or I didn't need this in another area. That's right. Or well, I didn't think you could do it. This I didn't way. think you could do that. I didn't think. And when you see this mild design as well, you're like, I didn't know my teeth could look like that. I thought that was yeah. only for movie stars. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I think it is. It is an amazing, powerful tool. The 3D planning um, to be able to get it so specific yeah. and so accurate. And then we've got a measuring tool for the final sort of uh, product, and yeah. that's what allows it to be such an amazing sort of powerful dental um, instrument for patients and I'm just doing more and more of it every day. It's really interesting honestly I was like whoa mm -hmm. didn't even know this technology was out there they have like the top of the line stuff it's like a surgery in here like yeah, everything yeah, is like top of the line. We've got a theatre. Yeah an actual so theatre. I guess you know. So talking about your surgery mm -hmm. and how maybe you differ from a normal dentist place and yeah. also how sometimes you need a little bit of structural work I got a lot of questions about anxiety to do with dentistry. Yeah. So when I first came to visit the lovely family at DFY Dental, I had to get a few root canals and a few fillings before we could proceed with any straightening or anything like mm -hmm. that. But I was super anxious. I have like I had quite a big fear of the dentist. You used to be yeah. like, it's all right, Michelle, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not gonna kill you. <laughs> you spent the first what 40 minutes calming you down? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I was like, what is it these days like that can be done for people with anxiety? I have so many friends, like my friend Steph that you know. Yeah. So yeah. afraid of the dentist and stuff lined. Yeah, and she she's just so petrified. But there are so many things you can do these days. There's no need to neglect your teeth. You have to put your big girl pants on and go in and get it done. So could you talk a little bit about um, the sedation process that oh, we did? One word, sleep dentistry. Sleep dentistry. So, uh, <laughs> it's basically word. sedation dentistry. Um, we've got an anaesthetist that puts you to sleep while we do the dental. Now this could be general dental, it could be wisdom teeth surgery, it could mm -hmm. be cosmetic work that we're doing. Um, it's, it's a great way to sort of do any procedure if you've got anxiety, but not only for that, if you're busy or you just you know, want to get it out of the way. So that's yeah. another reason. So there's two reasons we do the sleep dentistry. Yeah. Obviously anxiety and, and people get sort of uh, hung up about certain dental procedures, especially, you know, if they've had a bad experience. That's where I think a it's A lot of it's from. historical with It's because patients. of what you've had before, yeah. But also, it's a great tool if you just want to come in and get it done. Yeah, People I remember busy. one day you were like, Michelle, we've got a lot to do today. We're putting you to sleep. And I was yeah. like, good for anxiety and I'm time yeah. for. Yeah. Get it all done in one day. And that's what we were doing. I mean, it's it's so easy. I mean, we're built for it. That's the other thing. And we've got qualified personnel that do it. I don't do it myself. I do the dentistry and I've got my anesthetist, which yeah. is perfect. And I think it's just so important to let people even know that that option is out there. I had no clue that that option was out yeah. there. Like whether you're time poor or anxious, there is a solution. There is, you don't have to. I know so many people who just are like, oh, I have a bit of a pain, ignore, ignore, ignore. Yeah. And then it turns into a big problem. And we don't want that. So speaking of, you know, getting a lot of work done at once mm -hmm. and pain. Again, I really wanted to speak to my audience about how, yes, looking great is a great thing. But when it comes to dentistry and your health, it is so important. I know that um, I have friends and my sister who struggled with sinus problems. Yep. So by getting your teeth straightened, by looking after your teeth, by investing in your health, yep. more so than the beauty side, yes. what are the kind of things that you can help with? Like, I know there's like migraines, sinus problems. Yeah, I mean, there's so many uh, systemic manifestations that are related to, to the teeth and the mouth. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll just run through a few. You, you've knocked it on the head, tension headaches. From clenching, yeah, that, that yeah. can give you, uh, it's not migraines, but it can give you some severe headaches. Mm -hmm. um, if you've got infected, uh, particularly upper molar teeth, you can have sinus issues. I know so um, many people Chronic have sinus issues. problems. So there's a relationship between sinuses and teeth. There's the, the, the um, joint muscles in clenching can give yeah. you headaches. There's gum disease that's related to heart disease. So um, yeah, yeah. Um, and often a few other systemic manifestations. Sometimes you the certain medications that you take that can have an effect on your gums. There's so many different areas that manifest in the mouth and you need to get that right. And when you think about it, I know again, when I speak about anything in the beauty space, I like to think about it from an adult, real girl perspective. Forget about how your teeth look. Your health is the most important thing. You can cause yourself a lot of problems if you ignore pains in your teeth. I know I did it because I, I was so afraid of the dentist. I ignored so many things for so long, but actually there are ways, sedation dentistry, that you yeah. can do it and get everything done and look after your health. Yes, Would you ignore a pain in your foot? Would you ignore a pain in your head? No, so your teeth, treat it exactly like that, right? That is spot on. And yes. so many people do 
what you're saying, but only not because of they don't want to come here. It's because of anxiety and fear. Uh, yeah. fear. And they learn to live with it. I, I've seen like some phenomenal things come through the surgery where people have put up with stuff for years, like heart wrenching stuff. Uh, oh yeah, God. like severe pain, severe gum disease, and young patients. I mean, I had one one poor girl come in, 28 years old, which we we're going to treat. Now we will post her before and after this because this is going to be one of the most amazing cases. She gets up every morning at 4:30. And it takes her two hours to put her plates and splint her teeth that are loose together to be able to come in and yeah, and I she's my age. That. She's your age. And it was one of the most touching emotional appointments I've ever had. And she burst out into tears. She finally got her life back together, can afford to get her teeth done. Yeah. And she came in for this appointment. And we're going to actually treat her in the next two weeks. This is going to be the most amazing thing. Oh my goodness. Case. I can't wait She's to see that. Beautiful girl, 28 years old, and just a history of gum issues, social issues. That's crazy. And also, just kind of on a side note to that, for people my age that mm. are maybe wondering, like, oh my god, this is going to be so expensive. You can do this in a payment plan, right? Yeah. So you don't yeah, have to just go, got, here's all the money. <laughs> no, no. I mean, we, we're associated with uh, a couple of different sort of. Uh, uh, Smile Choice, one of them is called Smile Choice and My Choice. So there's a couple of sort of uh, payment plan options. Yeah, um, so it's accessible can, to everyone. It is, well it is accessible to everyone. And I guess it might not be as expensive as you think. You no, might think yeah. you need all this stuff, it could be as easy as whitening and a little bit of polishing of the teeth yeah. and edges and so forth. So I guess you don't know until you have the consultation. Mm, exactly, really, really have really the consultation, it's not as scary as you're going to yeah, think. that's right, I promise I'll be gentle. <laughs> he actually is, he's not even lying, every other dentist lied to me, he okay. never lied to me. <laughs> so, big trend is teeth whitening at the moment. Yes. I have seen a lot of people using cheap whitening kits online, it's a big, big trend amongst beauty YouTubers. And again, I don't, um, no disrespect to anyone that uses those, I know that can be a great option for some people, but when it comes to actually teeth whitening, what, what is the difference between getting it laser whitened and doing those at home kits? Okay, well, I'm a big, big advocate of dentist or professional whitening. Uh, I did my masters in aesthetics, my thesis was on whitening, so wow. <laughs> uh, you, could, you could say I'm an expert in this field. And the reason I'm so passionate about it is, um, if anyone's, uh, if someone's not qualified to do dentistry, uh, they shouldn't be qualified to do whitening. Um, you really need to see a dentist before you get any whitening done, mm -hmm. to see if you're suitable, to see whether you're, you will get a result, to look at which teeth will get a result, make sure you don't have any other issues, and then see what is the appropriate whitening modality for you. Yeah. You might need internal whitening, you might need external whitening, you might need laser whitening, you might need home whitening. So you just need the professional that understands all the processes to do it. Not someone that sends you a kit online or you stick it in your mouth, put a, a light on it, or you're in a shopping center um, that someone's not even qualified to be able to go anywhere near your mouth or diagnose mm -hmm. and be able to do that. You know, or you're the, just ordering something yourself online and, and you don't know the quality, yourself, you don't, you don't know the someone. concentration, you don't know where it's made. Yeah, yeah, you don't know where it's made, you don't know, you know, whether it's sterile, not sterile. I mean there's no doubt you will get some whitening change on your teeth if you put a chemical on there, you know, that's hundred percent. But you really want to know what you're sticking in your mouth. I mean, you wouldn't order anything online that you didn't know where it came from and ingest it because you pretty much are ingesting it. Yeah, absolutely. And I think um, when I was younger, I did some whitening strips and stuff like that. And now that I've actually had professional whitening done, I can really see the difference and I wouldn't go yeah. back. I got yeah. a lot of sensitivity yeah. in my teeth from the like at-home whitening kits. And also, you would find that the results wouldn't last very long. So you're constantly like buying more and, and redoing the whitening. As somebody who's done at home teeth whitening before when I was younger and somebody now who's had intro whitening, the difference is ridiculous. Like oh, you, you, in my you teeth. You saw you before and after. You saw me before and after. You glowing for three months. I had people, just strangers walked up, up to me and go, you have the whitest teeth I've ever seen. And I was like, that, you couldn't get that at a home kit. <laughs> The next big thing in beauty when it comes to teeth is straightening. Everyone is getting 
clear races. And when I told my audience that I got clear races and I was so excited, I had so many questions I just couldn't answer. Well, you didn't get braces, you got clear aligners. Clear aligners, sorry, not braces. I'm just so used to the word braces. So I'm using the brand Clear Correct. I'm yeah. loving them. My teeth are moving. Do you notice a difference? Yeah, you haven't seen looking, them in a while? I haven't seen you for a little while. They're looking great. Right? They made yeah. such a difference that I'm only halfway through and I'm I'm smiling in pictures now. It's incredible. Yeah. And everyone's noticing. But um, the one thing I had a lot of people asking me was, what made me a good candidate? Because everyone thought I had pretty okay teeth. And also, like, what are just the criteria for a good candidate for whitening? Or sorry. Straining. Straining. <laughs> okay, again, you, you do need a consultation, but anybody that's got crooked teeth is a candidate mm -hmm. for, for straining. Now, whether they're a candidate for clear aligners um, yeah. is, a, is another scenario, but we're finding now it's getting so good, this technology, that yeah. nearly 90% of the population is a candidate for, for the clear aligners. So um, not a lot of people have like severe crowding in their mouth and you can super still do perfect. it. You, you can, can still, still do, do it. it. It might take a bit longer, but you can still do it. But someone like doubt. me who just needs a little bit of movement, kind of, perfect. I would have had straight teeth, but just to get them ultra Barbie kind of straight, you yeah. just need a few. So you don't have to have super crooked teeth either yeah. to get these clear aligners. Even just if you want some small movement, you're yeah, kind it's of perfect. Right? It's perfect yeah. for that. It's perfect because it's subtle. Um, and sometimes, you know, it's only one or two little areas you need to address that, you know, can stand up. Sometimes one or two teeth on the lower that your eye catches, yeah. which is what you want to straighten and you're in front of the camera, so you're watching hours and hours of footage of yourself and you can start yeah, to see, see everything. <laughs> yeah, I can already see now, I was watching some of your older um, YouTube clips and your recent ones. Yeah, yeah you can I did notice difference. the difference in, I think when I, when, I, when I think from a beauty perspective, um, if we're going to be like, Think about the vanity <laughs> aspect of we don't, it. We don't use that word. No, but if you do think about it even that way, the symmetry of my face of my face is improved. Um, yeah. Even the muscle kind of build up that I had here and the tightness in my jaw from clenching is improved. Mm. So much is improved just by these aligners. I'm getting less headaches. I feel like even my neck, I get as, less pain and stuff in my neck. As your jaws are lining. Now we haven't even we haven't even done the Botox in the jaw no. yet. No. So that. As you, your teeth are lining up, that's the next thing we're yeah. going to do. And that helps with just like the slight bulbousness well, of the muscle here. And it decreases the clenching. And yeah, it's, you know, it's got a dual effect. It's got a therapeutic effect and an aesthetic effect. We I'm like excited. that. <laughs> so now that we've covered pretty much everything I think you guys asked, of course, if you've any more questions, leave them below. And if there's enough questions, I'll come back and ask. Dr. Freddy some more. I think that's it guys. Thank you so much for being on my channel. Pleasure. You're gonna Thank help, you for having me. You're going to help so many people out with making decisions about dentistry. I will of course leave the link to your website yeah. and the address of your surgery in the description box below for any of my Sydney yeah. Cider audience. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the day and Thank we you. might talk to you again real soon. Bye! Bye.